Okay, so as a little um, side note to my fifth prediction check, now that the 24 hours of Le Mans have um, been completed, Fernando Alonso won. So that's one more point. I don't think there is um, internet best direction by WCF1 and I didn't post anything to Twitter important. As of the 24 hours of Le Mans, I unfortunately didn't watch the whole thing because uh, broadcast was not complete, so yeah, whatever the case, um, Fernando Alonso won. So that's one point on our predictions board, leaving us with 14.1 out of 50. Great! Have with the season and we're not even arriving at the 25 point yet. Anyway, um, obviously, as you know, the WEC doesn't give the crown to just one driver because each car has three drivers. So, apart from Fernando Alonso, it was Sebastian Buemi and Kazuki Nakajima. Yeah, Kazuki Nakajima. So, can we just talk about how that victory happened? Well, we all knew that the car number 7 was ahead until he suddenly wasn't because of uh, he ran out of fuel. Well, he didn't literally run out of fuel. He um, started lap 12 of a stint with the tank nearly empty and he had to slow down to 80 kilometers per hour and do a very very slow lap at 80 kilometers per hour 13 kilometers so that's 22 minutes or they would have been until he started speeding up when he got near the pit lane he got there and got his fuel um, charged and then to seal his victory the stewards came along to give him uh, 10 seconds stop and go penalty twice. Anyway, thank you, uh, Le Mans stewards, for giving the victory to Fernando Alonso. Although I think that fans of Petit Lopez will be mad. Anyway, thanks for watching and coming soon. I guess, I hope, I can. Um, Stop procrastinating on doing it. Uh, be making a um, little um, tribute to Cinema Sense by commenting on a Disney Channel movie called Zombies. Great! And thanks for watching. Uh, we have one more point, and bye bye.